Hello, Sandra. Hello, Jenny. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. <laughs> Ready? Yes. How are you? Pretty much. I can't believe already tomorrow we finished the course. Oh, yes. <laughs> Super fast, right? Yes, very, very, very fast. Mm -hmm. So, and then we have to wait because there's a lot of information about uh, the next, if we continue or not continue or what happened in the next time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero, there are, uh, um, menos, when, uh, when less? we met less, there are less students in the in this score. Mm, I don't know. I don't remember how many were in the last course. In the last course, uh, 20, mm -hmm. 25, and we fin we finished 16, maybe. And this school, 10, 12, 12 students. Little by little, right? Less and less. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the next course, only eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We see. Uh-huh. Well, we'll check. But, uh, but it's the last, last course. Uh, the, the, last? Tough, the next course is the tough. Yeah. Yes. The next part three is the is the last one. But then after that, continue more courses. The, the uh, English course? Yes, I believe. After the TOEFL course, you have the conversation class. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, but... Uh, um... Is it uh -huh. sure that we are going to continue? Sorry. No, no idea. Because in this moment, there are many, many things in the assembly and many things within Saforp. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I imagine we continue until uh, till December. The idea is only the typical. You have to wait one or two weeks and then we continue the next one. You have to register. Did they send you the information to register for the next course? Or is the main uh, institution disappears, then how how can we uh, be sure to continue? Oh, because that's for next year, not for this year. Uh -huh. But, well, uh, we are in September, October, November, December. Only okay. three months more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How many courses are in the conversation? One. One. I think mm -hmm. there's only one. Mm hmm Oh my God. Uh-huh. So <laughs> exact so exactly you finish. You finish Tofu three and then the conversation and that's it. Maybe we finish this year. Yes. That, that's two course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hey teacher, the next course and Tofu three have the same structure. It's reading, speaking, listening. And ah, writing. yes, always always the same, but the different questions. Because remember, wow. each question is different. For example, in this one, we saw questions numbers three and five, and we saw questions number four and six. So in the last course, we saw questions number one and two. So each question is a little bit different, the organization and the structure. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And did you already receive the email to register for the TOEFL? Yes. Yes. But they say yeah. that we are in number two, that I am number two again. <laughs> yes, we are in number two. No, you are. We are <laughs> right two now, two. yes, we are. Uh -huh. uh, well, in, in the last course, we, it passed the same. It passed the same. They told me, uh, you are involved in in preparation of TOEFL course one. And uh, I was about finishing uh huh. And, and what happened, Sandra? I don't understand. Oh well, that I I I called to go to the office. I called the office, and they told me, "Don't worry, you are in the second. Now I have to call again <laughs> because and they said that I am that I am enrolled 
in in the preparation for toggle two again. Again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. so you have to correct so that you are enrolled in in TOEFL for TOEFL preparation course three. Course three, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. This very easy. Um, our last part is super good because we already have the idea for writing, right? The most important is in the writing, we structure, we organize, and you try to give as much as possible the correct grammar. Yesterday, I saw a few mistakes. Just be careful when you are talking in the past tense, remember verbs in the past tense, okay? So always remember and check. So what I recommend is when you do the writing, create yourself a mental checklist. For example, what do you check for? Punctuation, spelling, verbs, third person. That way you go, okay, okay, all the, all the period correct, quickly. Next, uh, all the capital letters correct, okay, quickly, the capital letters, right? So for example, yesterday, I don't remember, um, I don't remember, but one person wrote with capital letters. For example, they wrote, uh, I wrote all the capital letters. Ah, okay. <laughs> exactly. For example, if you write all capital letters, you have, you lose all the points because this is not the correct writing. This is not a professional writing. Not for emails, not for chats, not for anything. Is not correct, capital letters. So that's part of your punctuation. That's part of your spelling. So you have to be careful to when you write in the exam, in here, because in the computer, ah, you leave capital letters. But in the writing for the test, no, because if not, all is wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's the little things that you have to be careful for when you do the test. That's why I recommend create for you an order, a mental checklist. Like when you go to the supermarket. In the supermarket, you have a, a checklist. Ah, ah, first, this, 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 and this. First, I go for the I go for this object, this object, this object, and then you go in order. The same for here. Teacher. Yes, Walter. Okay. So uh, um, I um I try to understand something. Uh, yes. The in the writing is part of the exam when I uh in the exam that take the exam and that this part specifically, I don't know. I think it's necessary to organize everything for example you you told us is only use a system of the exam no use microsoft word no use another tools i think it's necessary to write in on paper after to write in the platform of the exam i don't know understand that how the the the, the technical is technical is better to write directly on the computer. Why? Because if you write on paper, you lose a lot of time writing on paper and then writing again the same in the typing. But happened to me, for example, um, I'm, I'm think and write a lot of ideas. Mm -hmm. But after that, to organize that, that ideas in the same platform. Uh huh. And that is the problem because you yeah. don't organize at the beginning ah, okay because if you have the first two minutes remember if you have the first two minutes and you create an outline you don't have ideas mm -hmm. you have organization yeah. so mm -hmm. the first two minutes oh uh let me let's go to the one from yesterday as an example that way we are clear so i can help you out walter so let's take a okay. look this is today's test let's go to yesterday's Okay, for example, here. Yesterday was oops, so big. There we go. This one. Do you agree mm -hmm. with? No. Oh no, no, no. My apologies. My apologies. The, the, right the, the yesterday was the this one, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So if if you oh, I want to talk about when my grandfather walked to school. I want to talk about my grandmother. And if you have a lot of ideas, the most important is. You need to limit yourself. You only have 30 minutes. So what are the two most important ways to contrast? 
mm-hmm. economics, education, health, mm-hmm. transportation. Okay. So you begin the first paragraph. Okay. The topics. I'm going to talk about health and education. Okay. So my way of life between my parents and myself have changed or varied in many different ways, especially in the areas of health and education. My introduction, boom. Now the second paragraph, only about health, boom. The next paragraph, only about education, boom. My next paragraph, compare for the future, boom. My last paragraph, conclusion. But if you don't organize at the beginning when you are writing, oi, this idea, ah, I go to talk about food. Oh, oh, and, and I remember that for, and then you begin coming <laughs> with many, because in the moment you are coming up with the ideas, that's wow. why it's important not to just begin writing. It's important first, organize. Teacher. <laughs> yes. When, when, when it's a, a, a question, do you do you do you how to to write the question? No. No. I, um or, or maybe I don't understand correctly. Let me show you this. For example, here, do you mean like here? Which way of life do you think would be more satisfying to future generations? Do I have no is... when when do you agree or disagree with this question? Ah, okay. So no. You don't have to write that, only you begin, okay, with the topic. What and is the introduction in this guy in this case? Excellent. Well, so uh, is life more difficult now or before? No, life, for example, life is more difficult now than before. Do you agree or disagree with the statement? Okay. Well, there are and I begin. There are many differences between life before and life now. I think that economically life is more difficult as well. Uh, 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 I think life is more difficult today. And that is my introduction. And that is going to tell the reader that I am going to speak about economic. Ah, before life was m- life was easier or life was more difficult with jobs. Okay, and that tells the person that I'm going to talk about jobs. My first paragraph is, I agree or disagree with what? And then I put specifically. This is the importance of the first paragraph. Mm -hmm. Is that okay, Jenny? Or one more example? Mm, More example. (laughs) One more example. Okay. Uh, Super easy. Men are more intelligent than women. Do you agree or disagree? (laughs) Do you agree or disagree? (laughs) Perfect. I think that men and women both have intelligences and men are more intelligent with uh, mechanical things. Women are more intelligent with, uh, I don't know, uh, with emotional aspects or decisions. Ah, so that way when the person begin to read, I defend women are more intelligent for this area, two, 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 paragraph number one. Men are more intelligent for this one, two, 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 paragraph number three. And paragraph number four, my conclusion. My conclusion is, in the end, both men and women are intelligent in different areas. Men are more intelligent with this, and women are more intelligent with this. And I finish. Because remember, it's not your opinion. It's only your writing. It's not your opinion. Pizza is better than tacos. Oh, For me, there are many types of pizzas and a few types of tacos. But for Mexicans, tacos are very important. And for Italians, pizza are more delicious. Boom. Now I begin. In Depending on which region you are, for example, in Mexico or Latin America, tacos are probably, and then that's it. Two, 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 two. I agree or disagree. All you need to do is organize yourself at the beginning. Because if you don't organize, only you begin writing and writing and writing. And then all of it, look like a like a person speaking with no organization like like when you have your grandmother grandfather hi i'm going to tell you a story oi but first i had this oi no and then at the end oi and i i some of they see that and <laughs> then it's like that that's why you need to organize okay does that help you better jenny yes teacher 
Okay, good. So remember, always, always, yeah. number one, always organize. All right. So now we have our ideas. We have two questions, right? Here we have question number one. Here we have question number two. Okay, let's see. We have time to do both of them. So for this one, let's take a look at number one. Or sorry, before we begin, does anybody have any questions or any comments before we do the practice? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Walter, um, yeah. I, I want you, I want you to try your technique. Let's discover if the technique for you is correct. Mm -hmm. Write in the paper and then write on the computer and see if for you is better. Because remember, everyone is different, but you have to find the correct technique, not the correct, the best technique for you. Mm -hmm. the, Maybe for Yancy, Yancy said, no, I'm very logical in my mind. It's not necessary for me to create my outline in paper. But Sandra says, no, 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 no. I need to see, I need to visualize my ideas. I need to create my outline in papers. Mm -hmm. And maybe you want to, you say, no, no, no. I terrible. I need to write in the paper and create because I have the line. And then I put here and I put here and I understand. And then I write. Remember, this is the course for you to discover the best technique for you. There, every, there are many techniques, but the important is in this course, discover the best technique for you and give you the most points. This is the clue. Oh, Sandra, did you have a question or uh -oh, comment? No, no, sorry. No, because over there said, hello, how are you? Ah, okay ah okay for that <laughs> ah that was the example from yancy okay okay <laughs> yeah. all right yancy remember careful with your spelling careful with the capital letters today okay okay are we ready oh uh, yeah. chose uh one of the questions no we're going to go with question number one in this okay. moment walter can you please read question number one for the group Okay. The widespread use of the internet has given people access to information on a level never experienced before. How does this increase in the availability of information influence life in today's world? Use a specific reason and example to support your opinion. Good. We have 30 minutes. Begin now. Okay.
Lighting the darkness, no care. Okay, now we have the last five minutes. Remember to check uh, and create a list in your mind. What are you going to begin checking? Is it punctuation? Is it grammar? Is it spelling? Is it the verbs in the correct form? Remember, take the last five minutes and review. One thing that I recommend because I see in many people is check your introduction paragraph. Many of you only begin writing but not relate to paragraph number two and three. Look, what is the topic that you are having in paragraph two and three, and make sure you include in your introduction paragraph, okay? So five minutes, correct the mistakes.
teacher, to make correction, I need to rewrite it. Rewriting? Rewriting it? No, only copy and paste the part and correct it. That's the easiest way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, we have to put in the chat. Put in the correct, yes, because the same like when you have your exam, you have to write it. In the yes. chat? Yes, put it in the chat. Okay, the five minutes are up. Okay, so let's take a look a little bit here in our writing together. That's the most important part. So guys, you can look in the chat and we can see everybody's writing and ideas so we can get a better ideas. So the first thing as the person who is reading this, the first thing that I'm looking for when I grade or when I check the grades is does the person or does the writing have an introduction? Is there a part, the first paragraph, does it tell me what I'm going to read about? Okay, so if we look at the question, um, here, let me show you one more time, just to be sure. The question says, the widespread use of the internet has given people access to information on a level never experienced before. So. I am not asking you if you agree or disagree with internet is more widespread. I am not asking you this. I am asking the question, how does this increase in the availability of information influence life in today's world? Do specific reasons and examples to support your ideas. So what am I looking for? Well, as the person who is grading, first I'm looking for is how you relate the availability of today's information to the world. How does it influence? Does it influence health? Does it influence education? Does it influence transportation? Does it influence work? Does it influence leisure? How first is more access to internet influencing the world? Not if we have or not have more internet. Not if we have or we have a more access to information than our parents or our grandparents. That is the first part. Now, 
when I read that, then I see, okay, this person says, yes, influence our education, influence our uh, society, our transportation, our job, whatever it is. Then in the next one, you are looking to read. Do you include the examples, right? Because that's very important. Do you state what it is? Ah, it changes, it affects our education, our jobs, our work, our communication, whatever, okay? Perfect, this is excellent, whatever your opinion. But the next part is, do you have sentences that support or sentences that explain why affect the education, why affect the transportation, why affect the financial institutions? That's it, okay? Now, in our, if we look in our chat, look at your writing. Everybody look at your own writing. Do you follow this process? Do you have how information? I see some, yes. Some, very good. Begin with, oh, the increase of availability. Uh, yes, the widespread use of internet. Very nice. Okay. So the first thing is, did you answer the question? Did you have the information and the examples? Do you have specific reasons and examples to describe how the availability of information influences today's world? That is the first. This is, remember, it's holistic grading, which means I'm going to give you five points. The idea is yes or no include or has this information. The second part is now I start to look for the details. Did you use, for example, the verb in the correct form? Did you use the subject, the ideas? I'm going to give you an example, very common. Um, I don't remember. Somebody put, where was it? I read it. Is for example, mm, okay, I'm looking for the exact example to give sure the feedback. Okay, I can't remember where it was. I think it was, I think it was Walter. And it said something like about I or uh, in the past, uh, my, and then you put, oh, uh, you need to improve for your house. So remember, always, if you begin with I or me, or you are describing personal, not put third person, continue with first person, okay? So internet affected me and this way and this way, and I have this experience. No, you have it in yours. Always be careful with the pronouns. And I think, Yancy, also you had the part where you use the verb say. I think it's the same for yesterday. Remember, um, it's going to be said because you're talking about in the past. S-A-I-D, not S-A-Y. For example, in the, ah, no, Yancy, yes. For example, in the third paragraph, you say, Yancy, I can say positively because there is a lot of information that we did not know, for example. Okay, that is correct because you are talking about now. But there was another one where you use say and it had to be said. So only be careful. Now, also, it's, I understand your writing, Yancy, but I don't understand why sometimes you have capital letter and sometimes no. For example, I read in this summer, I capital letter will reveal how to use the use of the internet, which has given capital letter access to people. So be careful when you're typing because it's going to affect you in the points for not having the capital letters uh, in the correct locations. Little mistakes like that. That was, it's the first one, Nancy. It's the first one at the top. The first one that you sent. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Mane. I'm looking for I you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. I have read that we had to include uh, relevant information in the introduction to, to call the attention for the reader or the lector, right? In this correct. case. That is correct, Mane. Okay. And then we start to, uh, well, it's going to be in the introduction. That is the first uh, paragraph. Correct. And, and then give the advantage 
and then uh, provide the um the example so to provide advantage first and then disadvantage right and no. then we have to provide the reasons no because in this one is not asking you to compare it's not asking you for advantages and disadvantages it's asking you for examples of the increase of the availability of information in the influence so how it influences all right no because in there is not the disadvantage of internet oh, yes what i meant is like we had to provide first that like uh, the advantage and then like the negative uh for example the negative impact that this could have Correct, correct, yes. Okay. Because you are talking about how it affects the world. So very good. You can have, you can have the first, for example, the first, how it affects positively for uh -huh. example, in education. In education, um, internet is used in every institution around the world um, in regards to increasing education, introduction. My first, my second paragraph is the positive of the internet in education. My third paragraph is the negative mm -hmm. of internet in education. And my conclusion is exactly that. The examples or specifics that they ask you, uh, what is my opinion? Oh, in conclusion, I think that is better. Uh, internet is better to have in school because, and the reason, even with the negativities. Like, like the conclusion, the conclusion should have some specific what is mentioned, for example, in the second and in the third uh, paragraph, right? Correct. It should okay. What is in the second and third paragraph, and your personal opinion with examples or with oh, reasons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So we are getting much better. We are getting much better. But remember exactly that. Don't try. I know that some of you put a lot of examples in education, in news, in uh, in TV. That's okay. But remember, the introduction is what are you going to talk about? What is going to be the main focus of this writing? Is it going to be in communications? Is it going to be in social media? Is it going to be in, I don't know, in security for more internet access for cameras, whatever? But that is the idea. Now, remember, uh, like Vane put, because Vane, I don't know, because didn't put her writing into the chat. So, uh-huh, I don't know what happened, Vane. But... I'm sorry, because I'm writing from my cell phone, and I was uh, writing here on the notebook. Uh, okay, okay. No, I was not, I'm not in the computer for the reason I'm not typing. Okay. From, in cell phone, it's like a kind of difficult. I understand, I understand. Okay. But if you want, I can send you the um the picture of about what what I wrote here. No, no, it's okay, Vani. I just want to make sure that you are practicing okay. your writing. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Yes, but I'm practicing. Okay, no worry. Walter says no. Walter, I no le creo. Okay, I, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. So, no, but I'm telling you the truth. No, no, I, yeah. believe, I believe it, Vanny. Don't worry. Don't worry, Vanny. Thank you. Yes. So remember, this is the idea. Do not try to talk about a lot of topics. This is bad for your points. Try to be specific like this. One or two, and then boom, 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 boom. The positive, the negative, the pros, the con, and then try to develop even better. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Tomorrow we are going to finish. We have the quick exam. It's only like 10 questions and we have one more writing task. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Oof. Thank you. See you tomorrow in the last class. <laughs> yes. All right. Good night. Good night. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you.